when you release a video half finished somebody will tell you to finish it that's what I'm doing now Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel and this tutorial is a follow-on from the previous tutorial where we showed you how to create branches and tags for Git using Android Studio. Um, we completed that tutorial by just showing you how to create your branch and add some tags and push that back up to the server. But I did have a question saying, oh, how do I get my branch back into the main branch as such? So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Basically, I'm going to show you how to merge between branches. Okay, I can't actually merge my performance branch back into my master branch because my master branch contains the head linked to one of the beginner tutorials. And I don't want to put anything over the top of that just to confuse beginners with tags and stuff. What I will do is I create a new branch and go from my performance branch to my new branch and for those of you who, you who want to merge back into your master branch you just follow the same process. Okay I'm back inside my recycle image view gallery project. I'm in my performance branch at the moment but what I want to do is I want to create a new branch from the master so I need to go back into my master, so I can select that and check out my master. It's telling me I down here, oh, it's telling me down here I checked out master moments ago. So by looking at it, I can see it's different. My master doesn't have um, any of the performance files, so I can see that here. Right, next stage is I want to create a new branch, which is where I'm going to put like a version 2 of the image gallery, it's going to have enhanced functionality that um, I want to do it off the master branch. So I'm going to create a new branch. Just select new branch here. Spoiler alert, this is going to be for a new tutorial that's going to be coming up. I'm not going to elaborate on it. So I've created a new branch off the master branch called Material. So Material will just, at the moment, just reflects what's on the master branch. Currently I'm in my Material branch, but I want to get the changes from the Performance branch. And if I was in the master branch and I wanted to update all the changes from the Performance branch, it would be the exact same workflow. So I go up into VCS, select Git, Merge changes. Now here's where I can select the changes I want to merge into my branch. So I want to merge the changes from the performance branch. This will be the local performance branch. And for the strategy, I'm just going to select the default strategy. I'm not going to go into the level of telling you the different types of strategy. It's actually quite a specialized topic in itself. And for the commit message, I'm just going to say Updating latest changes from performance. And select merge. Okay. I can see I've already got a new file added. Um, if I just go into the image adapter, scroll on down, okay, I can see I've now got the latest um, changes from the performance line, and if you're in the master line, you'd have done exactly what I did here, merge that in, and so that merge was fine successfully, it all happened automatically, and it done the commit. Now the next stage, all we have to do is just push our changes back up to the remote server, if you're in the master line, it's just going to push um, your change list back up to your master remote and anyone else, can just, anyone else can just sync that down because I've created a new branch and I've merged the new branch called Material. 
and I've merged all the changes into my branch, when I push up, it's going to push the new branch up as well as with the change list. So I go back to VCS, select Git, and select Push. And I'll just say the current branch, because I'm in the material branch. Just push that. That says it's successful, and if I highlight this for you, it says that it's pushed the material to a new branch. So it's also created my uh, new branch in the remote. Okay, let's go to my GitHub and just see if that worked. Okay, here's my GitHub. I'll just refresh that. Okay, and as you can see, I've now got my material branch here. And this branch, material branch here is currently going to reflect basically what's in the performance. For, and it would have been based on the master. And then we've just merged up the performance changes into our material. And, and so that's it. You can see it's quite straightforward. So if you ever want to merge... A development line such as performance back into your master it's just a merge um, hopefully you can get uh, by with the default merge strategy and after the merge it's just a matter of just pushing it back up to the server and then everyone else will be able to pull down all the changes that have been put back onto your for this case master or material branch so I hope that made sense and you could all understand that it is quite straightforward Bear in note that if you're working in a team and you're sharing your code, it's good to have a process, a communicative, communicative process in place. Um, because even at the best of times, sharing code using VCSs can get a little bit tricky. Anyway, that's all for this one. If you like my tutorials, please subscribe. Bye for now. Hi Jane. Oh, hi Wendy. I've finished my application. Wow, oh, good. Congratulations. Oh, that's great. I think it's really yeah, good. Good. What do you think of it? Okay, can let me see. Hmm. Sweet slow. Eh? Slow. Really? Hmm. Oh, it's supposed to be slow, Jane, so you can look at each thumbnail and take your time. Yeah, but thank you.